When we say New Glarus, you probably first think of the beer, not the small village in Greene County, home to more than 2,000 people. Well, the brewery, however, did help put that town called America's Little Switzerland on the map. And as News 19's Brittany Lake explains, a lacrosse connection is partly responsible. From the outside, it looks like just another building in a quaint Swiss town. But it's what's on the inside that makes this place a Wisconsin icon. Beer's great. Mm -hmm. That's just, that brings you here. Mm, you yeah. go back to drink a normal beer now, and it's like water. It's like, eh. The story of how New Glarus beer found its way into your glass is anything but bland. And this was sort of born of desperation, of trying to get back to my home state and establish a nice livelihood for ourselves. And we never thought we would be this big or this popular, and it wasn't a goal, and it still isn't a goal. Deb Carey and her husband, Dan, thought up this little idea 26 years ago. After it really took off, they had many opportunities to sell. There is no better place in the world than this state. As you probably know, you can't buy the beer out of state. But that wasn't always the case. They briefly sold in Illinois. I'd had some problems with wholesalers, and at the exact same time, our business was growing so quickly. And it just crossed my mind, like, wait, if I quit selling in Illinois, then I would have enough beer to take care of Wisconsin. I have never regretted it. I'm not looking back and we're not planning on going out of state. While keeping sales close to home, Deb also likes to hire other Wisconsin companies to help with the manufacturing aspect. And that connection brings them closer to us. The New Glarus beer labels are actually printed at Inland Packaging in La Crosse. Really, we started in beer. Beer label was literally the first product that we started in as a label manufacturer. Before that, we were a commercial printer. And we were doing commercial work for G. Heilman Brewing here in La Crosse. Today, Inland Packaging prints thousands of labels for big corporate brand names and prides themselves on quality. The difference about a beer label is a couple fold. So beer, that, beer labels that are going onto glass are what's called cold glue applied. So they're literally taking what looks like Elmer's glue and a machine is literally putting that onto the back side of the label and applying it to a bottle. We've really taken a lot of the material out of the label that allows it to be more pliable and it goes onto the bottle easier and faster and stays on the bottle. Which, funny enough, is the exact reason why we won the New Glarus business. She wanted a really special label and the issue was at the time she did that original artwork and the original label, there was, there was only a heavyweight material that she could use. It drove us nuts being beer label experts in Wisconsin that this iconic growing Wisconsin brand was using a material that caused quality issues that we would see in the, in the market. So we proposed down gauging that material, worked with a Wisconsin paper mill to do it, uh, and proved to them that we could provide both the look they were looking for and give them efficiency and quality on, on the product, and it worked. England really has just excellent quality and another excuse to go to La Crosse and support the Wisconsin economy. So. You know, it hits on all cylinders. The Badger State Brew also flows through her veins. And this is so Debbie. Deb has family from La Crosse. I was born in Sparta, and uh, my children were born in La Crosse. Um, Deb was born in Milwaukee. Her family lived down there for a while. Her Aunt Barbara still lives on the south side. When they first started out, I would go in the restaurants and ask if they had a new Glarus brew. And, uh, just because we wanted people to know that there was a, a Wisconsin beer that was very good. Whether you've met the dynamic duo behind the brews or know their family members or just drink their beer, Deb hopes her new Glarus beers continue to connect with Wisconsin communities for years to come. We want to be here in 300 years and people still drinking and enjoying new Glarus beer and us still being part of Wisconsin's economy. It just really is our goal to make world-class beer and take care of the people around us. Cheers. And that's reason to raise a glass. In La Crosse and New Glarus, Brittany Lake, News 19. And there's yet another family connection to the brewery. Deb's cousin owns a winery in Viroqua called Vernon Vineyards. Coming up tomorrow on Daybreak, you'll also hear another interesting fact about a La Crosse connection. Well, stay with us. Meteorologist Warren Sears is in next.